Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Christina and I am the creator, influencer, I also have a podcast, um, a clothing brand, um, but today I'm going to show you guys my easy glam everyday look because as you all know we haven't really been going out and really haven't had the need to put on makeup but I think it's important to put makeup on, feel a little bit of a sense of normalcy um, with your everyday routine if you are working from home these days or if you are just at home doing nothing these days and are used to working. So this is my look um, that I do when I just want to like feel normal and also if I'm going to shoot content like this video like other videos, create um, some photo content, film a TikTok, whatever it might be. Um, this is my quick makeup routine that I'll do um, to kind of set up for that and prepare for that. So I'm gonna get right into it and show you guys the next few steps, but don't forget to hit the subscribe button, please, and thank you if you guys wanna keep posted on all of my upcoming videos. So the first thing that I like to put on is this one here by Nude Sticks is super lightweight, which I absolutely love because it's really easy to put on. It's kind of like a BB cream. So I just put that amount on my hand and then I've been loving this brush here. I honestly couldn't tell you where it's from, but it's great. And I just kind of apply this on my face as a nice light coverage base. Um, also, none of us are getting spray tans right now because, you know, everything's closed. And I actually did give myself a tan, a self tan, um, but it's starting to come off and now I just want it like fully off. You know when you put on a spray tan and then it starts to get a little bit grainy and the, the one that I use is really good. It's, it's, not, it's not the quality of the tan, it's just eventually your skin gets dry or at least my skin gets super dry and I just want to scrub it all off so that's the stage I'm at now and I I feel like I just don't want a spray tan or I don't want any self tanner on my body or my skin for a while because I just want to feel hydrated and you know good the result of that is me looking very pale so the shade that I'm using and this is shade number three and um, it is still pretty light but if you guys want to you know or when I want to make it look a little bit more tan and warmer, I, I uh, mix it with 3.5. So it's just a little bit, a little bit darker. So next up is my, the one that I've been loving and using literally every day at the moment has been this creamy concealer by Hailey Bogart. You literally need the tiniest amount, like even that's too much. Um, and it really goes, it really goes a long way. So I like to put it on first with my fingers. And after that, I blend it in with a beauty blender. And I obviously wet it before I started filming. Um, so I just like to go in around the under eye and then I always like to do a near my brow. And also sometimes on my eyelid. Any excess I'll dab onto my chin or here or around my nose. Um, but I don't really put concealer anywhere else for the most part. So next I do like to set my concealer a little bit. So I'm using an all-time favorite, Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And this stuff is great. I also have the shiny version, which this the shiny, I guess it's shiny. Um, translucent. <laughs> I also have the shiny version, which is great if you want to accent um, highlighter on your cheeks, but I use the matte one for my under eye. Next, guys, we have bronzer, and I still use the same bronzer, so I'm sorry if this is repetitive for those of you who have watched my previous makeup videos, but we have the Hoola bronzing powder, which is just great. It's my benefit, and as you can see, I love to use it. Um, so I'm going to go in with this brush. This is by Makeup Forever. It's like a two-sided brush. And I'm going to go in with the angular side just to give some definition on my cheekbones because as we mentioned, having some color right now is super key because it is a pale time for most of us. <laughs> Of course, 
my snatch jawline. It's not snatched at the moment, but makeup can help with that. And then I go in with the thicker side and I'm just gonna blend it all around a little. After that, I like to go in with another bronzer. So I'm still using the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm palette, and this brown here I find is a perfect shade. So this has a mirror on it, so I'm just gonna use this because honestly, guys, I don't have a monitor, and that little screen is just a little too small for me right now. Um, so I'm just gonna go in with this, and also this palette I mentioned it before, but it's great because. It has everything in it, so if you did want to use the same palette for highlighter, um, blush, bronzer, and there's even the color here that you could use as like eyeshadow or as like an extra like rosy tone. Um, you could just use one palette for everything and just make your life a lot easier. But I like to use a few other products, so that's why I'm showing you guys the other ones that I like to use as well. Because if not, this video would be way too short and way too boring. <laughs> most important part is also putting bronzer on your nose to define it and make it look a little slimmer so and shorter so I'm using this Kylie Jenner double-sided brush and I just go with the bronzer and just <laughs> Um, and then I'm also going to use this brush to just go in and do a little bit of an eyeshadow. So I, again, like to simplify my makeup routine, especially because I'm not going anywhere. Um, and I like to use just the bronzer. It's just a really good hack. You can use any bronzer, um, but it also looks great as an eyeshadow um, if you want to go for something neutral. So I'm just going to use the fluffy side and kind of go in. Guys, I'm also, like, not a good makeup artist and I don't really know how to do eyeshadow so you know wouldn't take the tips from me I'm just showing you my routine and get so you guys can get an idea and then you can kind of go about your own technique <laughs> for for how to apply makeup but I basically go in through the outer corner and then pull it in to start Sometimes if I want to pack it on a bit more, I'll use like the flatter side and I'll just kind of pack it on there at, at the start. And then go in with this side and buff it out. So now that I have, you know, eyeshadow on both sides, um, the next step is to just put in some of a shinier color on the insides. Um, again, this is super basic, so it's really easy. It's dirty. I'm gonna go in with the highlight that I've been loving. So this is a new bot. It's not new at all. This is the Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow. How nice is that? Stunning. I got this brush in a Sephora collection, holiday collection set. So it's a shadow brush, so I'm just going to go in with this on the corner of my eye um, just to add a little bit of sparkle. So, you know, photos look nice and fresh. And I bring it only until like the middle. Love that. And then I also like to put some, obviously, under here under the arch and then bring it down a bit because I think it really reflects light nicely, especially in photos. Um, and then since we are doing highlighter, might as well just go finish off the highlighter. So I'm gonna use this brush, which is the Charlotte Tilbury brush that came with a palette I got as a gift once and I'm gonna go in with this again and then just put a tiny bit of highlighter on here, a bit down my nose, 
and voila, that's that. Now for my favorite part, I've been very, very, very obsessed with blush lately because I never wore it until like a year and a half ago. So it's been quite fun getting acquainted with all the different types of blushes that there are. So some of my favorites I wanted to show you. So we have the Glossier Cloud Paint. I used to use a lighter color, but now I'm using this color Storm. It's more of like a berry. Then we have the Nude Sticks Nudies in Body Language, which is the Hilary Duff Club. And then we have a Cherry Blossom Babe. So this one is a very, very light pink, which I'll show you. And then we have this Body Language, which is just like the nicest neutral tone. Um, so today I'm probably gonna use this one. The cloud paint I love, but it's I find it's hard to apply on camera. This is the MAC 168S brush, and I just open it up a little bit, pick up some pigment on the brush because if not, it's way too pigmented for me, so you can kind of see that. Kind of see that. And then I just put it on the apples of my cheeks. I know some people will do their highlighter after this, and I think I might do that sometimes, but today because I had the highlighter in my hand, I showed you guys first, and I'm doing the blush second. Sometimes I'll do like a touch on my nose, and I feel like it just really gives me that color that I need right now to look alive. <laughs> So that's why I've been loving blush lately. Next up, we are gonna do eyeliner. I kind of mix around my eyeliners. I've experimented with quite a few. We're talking liquid, by the way. But my current go-tos are the Kat Von D and then this one by Haley Bogart. It is double-sided. And I'm gonna use the thin side over here. Okay, I actually did that in one go. Very impressed. Guys, I killed it. If I do say so myself. <laughs> I didn't even have to wipe any off with a Q-tip, so feelings of accomplishment. So now we have three steps left. First we'll do brows. Brows here, again, this is by Hailey Bogart, but this is my current fave styling tool because one side is a brush and the other side is a retractable um, pencil. So I brush my eyebrows up first. And I only really fill in the front because I have a, another product that I really like to use um, that's pigmented afterwards. And um, But I do feel like I have some sparse areas here. And I really don't get my brows done, which I guess is a blessing some people say. Um, I get them done once in a while by Haley, but for the most part, I let them run wild and, I mean, they turn out okay. My mom has really great brow shape, so. So yeah, see just in the front, really. Okay, to be honest, I can't really see, so hopefully those guys are sisters right now. Guys, I just broke it. Fuck. I just tried to jab this in and now... Oh, because I was looking at the camera. Guys, it's broken. It's like in here. Well, I guess I'll have to get a new one of those once we're out of quarantine. Um, and then the next thing I like to go with is the Boy Brow by Glossier. Best eyebrow product, I'm telling you. I keep going back to it, you know? Um, so I just like to go in here all the way through and brush up my brows. And voila! Second last step is today we are using the Hypnose by Lancome Mascara. And this one's always great. This one's waterproof, this specific one. Um, but it's great because it's a smaller wand and it helps lengthen your lashes. And I never curl my lashes because I actually misplaced my curler, but um, I just like to use these, the wands, the mascara wands for length primarily because I do have that like curl and volume um, naturally for the most part. <laughs> And 
then I also like to do a little bit on the bottom. And the waterproof is safe for the bottom for me because I have really long lashes. But if I don't um, have waterproof mascara, I usually won't do the bottom because it always gets onto my skin and then it looks like I have a black eye. Lips. And I have just been going back to my favorite lipstick brand, which is Charlotte Tilbury. So these are some shades that I love to use. So today we're going to do... Iconic nude with pillow talk. Yeah, so I, I mean it's not doing so hot. I guess I've been using this one a lot, but I like to outline my lips a little over the edge. This is when the mirror comes in handy and shade in a bit, but because there's not a lot left, I'm not gonna do that. And then I just go in with the lipstick and. I like to put quite a bit of pigment. Okay guys, and one final step, lip gloss. You guys know I love lip gloss. And I've been currently using the NARS Glowgasm or Orgasm. In the middle. And voila. So there you guys have it. This is my full everyday look. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. I will link the products down below so you can check them out if you'd like. Um, but it's really easy to recreate this look with, you know, products that you might have at home. Um, it's not that many steps. I don't know how many it is, but it's not that many. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next video.